hello and welcome to my latest video now this isn't a tutorial in the true sense of the word it is looking at some places where you can get some free designs fonts backgrounds textures mock-ups things like that um, I have made a couple of videos in the past you know, on the similar theme and hopefully this time this will be adding some new links to different sites that I haven't mentioned before but if I have mentioned them before I apologize um, pretty much all of these ones I'm going to mention they are free they obviously the sites we're going to go to are trying to sell you their products but they do also do free products and also I think pretty much in all cases not all, uh, they are free commercial licenses but you need to check the actual pages where you download these from to check whether they are commercial licenses but I can imagine most people are like me are not doing this for commercial reasons so that's not necessarily a problem so let's start if we go to Facebook now I run a Facebook group called fans of Sarah software and one of the she was X member now but she Angela H Evans who I'm hoping to get back into the group at some point um, sent me a link to this free freebie Friday for string lights and it's for a company which I've not heard of before called design cuts so I went to the site and this is the particular page now this is a very limited offer it's only for this week so if you don't sort of go there this week you won't be able to get these for free but for these particular ones you have to go to sort of add it to your cart even though it's zero dollars um, and sort of go through the process of paying for it although you're not paying for it if you see what I mean but you will end up with these images here which will be downloaded as backgrounds as you see them but they will also be downloaded as PNGs where you just got the lights with a blank background so you can add them to whatever background you want to add them to. So all you have to do is you just have to sign up which is just a case of giving them your email address and basically that is it and then you can download it. Um, but once you have downloaded it you will get sent an email welcoming you but you also get five free products as well which I haven't downloaded this yet and tested it but they so there's watercolor flowers vector shapes vintage logos and a unique brush style font um, I will be checking those out later so again that's another good reason why to sort of sign up and going back to the actual main website of this design cuts the main page I should say and obviously they have all these products here which they're trying to sell to you and if you like them you can buy them but they do have a freebies section we go to that one now these are all the free ones that you can download and as you can see there's textures and fonts and backgrounds mock-ups all sorts of things that you could download and as you can see there's at least 11 pages of these so there's lots of free ones to look check out if I go to page 9 there you can see this iPad one which I use in the introduction to this video so I've downloaded this one already and I've used it and it sort of downloads it as a Photoshop PSD file, but these can be used in Affinity Photo and added to and edited and what have you. So there's many, many pages of free stuff there, and this is quite a good site by the looks of it. I've only sort of looked at it today, but there's a lot of some good stuff there. So this is basically it for design cuts. And much like all these other ones, um, a lot of these other ones, there is a need to sort of sign up to the website to be able to download their free stuff. 
which does mean they're going to be sending you emails um, but that's not really a major problem in my opinion because you can if you don't want them you can always dump them into your spam folder or just delete them but the, a lot of them like on a weekly basis they will have a new free item so if you want to get some other free stuff I will we'll look at some other pages uh, if you want some free fonts there's one called thefont.com I don't think you have to sign up for this one to download a font but you can search for fonts alphabetically or just um, whatever way you want to search for it uh, this next one is called fontbundles.net and again they are trying to sell you stuff and you do need to sign up for this one but there is a section here of free fonts and you go to that you have all these free fonts that you can download and every week they'll send you an email with the latest free one that will only last a week the current one is this woodburn so it is only available for this week as a free one now they have a sister site which is design bundles.net works on a similar basis they have a lot of designs they want to sell to you but they also have a section of free designs and again they will send you an email once a week with their latest free design um, I can't see which one it is on this particular one um, maybe it hasn't come out this week yet um, but there's all sorts of free designs that you could go for so that is those two sites and the last one I'm going to have a look at is Texturify I think that's how you pronounce that where you have all these different textures and backgrounds so for example you just go to stone and we we'll click on this one here so you can click on this to download the texture and as you can see it is a free download they may not all be free I don't not obviously I've not checked every texture but it says a royalty free license and then you can click on this if you want to check out the license so all these ones I've mentioned today I will add a link to in the description of this video on YouTube and I will, and I will also add a link to the previous videos that I made that are on a similar subject so there will be links to other sites that I may or may not have mentioned in this particular video so basically that is it it's just a quick look at where to find some free stuff on the internet to download to use in Affinity Photo or Designer because things like fonts I mean I'm not sure about Macs but fonts you install onto the system in a PC not into the actual program the program will check the system files for any fonts so these fonts will work in both designer and photo and obviously designer and photo can use backgrounds PNG images and JPEG images so both programs can use these free items same goes with like designs and clip art and what have you so these should work just as well in both programs so basically that's it Thank you for watching and goodbye.